Okay, now while the rice is cooking, I'm going to, to blend the dressing to go with the, uh, the salad. So what we'll do is get some olive oil and I normally just put enough just to cover the blender. The next thing I'm going to use is two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. Next, I'm going to use one of my favourite oils, hemp seed oil. Like I said, it's got all the omega-3, the omega-6 and omega-9. Very, very good oil, very, very good, especially if you're a vegetarian. A lot of fish eaters, they get their omega from, from eat, basically from eating fish. But for, for us vegetarians, we have it from the omega blend. So I'll put about two tablespoons of that. That. Then I'm going to use white wine vinegar. And I normally just put one tablespoon in there. Last but not least, I'm going to put one teaspoon of brown sugar that goes in there. And what we do, we'll blend that up. Give it a little bit. And now you can see we have a very dark colour of the dressing which will be added to the salad towards the end of the cooking. So the rice is now cooked. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to rinse the rice out. Very, I've just boiled this water, it's going to be it's very, very hot. So I'm just going to rinse it out to get rid of all the residue of the of the stock that's done okay and the whole idea of the rice now is you want it to cool right down okay it's very important that you cool it right down because like I said it's a salad so um, now, that, now that that is drained I'm just going to put it in the put it in a salad bowl Right, let that cool down now. now I will say that will take about an hour to, to, to cool down completely, so you leave it. Okay. While that's cooling down, the last thing to do is to chop up the rest of the vegetables to go with it. So what I normally use is one big fat red chilli. Just gonna just chop it quickly because I'm gonna put it in the blender. Okay. I'll normally use the very big spring onions. Again, r roughly chopped. Then just put it in the blender. Cut that a bit more. Now I love my garlic. Um, it's going to be quite a, quite a nice garlicky. So I'll just know again, just chop it up roughly, and then just add that in. Okay. Last but not least, one celery heart. Chop that roughly. Ends off. Put that in blend it up so you've got a really nice bite-sized vegetables in your salad. What we're going to do now is blend all of the ingredients, the vegetable ingredients into the into the blender. Just want it to be bite-sized, doesn't have to be too small, just give it a give, couple of blends and that'll be it. So what you've got now, what you've got now is just very bite-sized 
vegetables to go into your salad. Okay, now we're all done. Now this is a good, this is a good meal to have. If you know you're gonna have guests, it's a very summer kind of um, salad. So you know that you're gonna have it. So you just make sure that the rice is the most important thing or the longest thing that's gonna cook. All you have to do now is just add your vegetables, your dressing and the peas. Okay, and then it's done, it's ready. So that can be served. You can do all of that even when you've guests arrive. So when they arrive, give them a little glass of wine, sit them down, do stuff. And then while they're entertaining themselves, you can just, all you've got to do now is just put your ingredients in, your dressing in, your peas in, and it's all ready. Now, the rice is now cooled down, so now we can add all of our blended ingredients into the bowl. As you can see, the rice is lovely. It's nice and cooked, cooled down. So now we're gonna add, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add these ingredients, add these vegetables first. You don't have to have chilies in yours if you don't want to, but I just prefer it because it gives, a, give it, it gives it a bit of a kick. And also it goes, it goes really nicely with your dressing, especially with the sesame seed if you're going to use sesame seed and it works really well with the dark soy sauce as well so once that's in okay then I'm going to add the dressing give it make sure you've got all of it in there if there was such a thing as smelly vision the smell on this is absolutely divine absolutely divine and the last thing we're going to do now is mix up all of the ingredients together. Like I said, you want the rice to be quite moist. Look at that. Beautiful. Really moist. That is it's gorgeous. lovely colour because of the dark soy sauce okay and for decorative purposes I'm now going to just chop up some cherry tomatoes you can use plum tomatoes doesn't really matter but I'm just using these for decorative purposes just make sure you just got all in there. And if you want to, you can just add a little bit of salt and pepper on top. And a little bit of pepper. And finally, I'm just going to add the peas. Just again, just to give it a bit of colour. There. Again, for decorative purposes, but it's got such a lovely taste against the all the different ingredients that you've used in this rice. Okay, I haven't used all of it. And that is your wild rice salad. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed my recipe, wild rice salad. I will be posting up more recipes on my blog, um, which is fiberfood.blogspot.com. Thank you very much.